Welcome back to the rigging stage. In this part, I'll be uh, adding the mast to the hull as well as all the deck furniture and the deck accessories and uh, adding the standing rigging to the ship. Uh, this will pretty much uh, create the whole structure um, and finish the ship uh, minus the sails. So, uh, the first step is to start off by making the blocks. Um, the blocks come in the kit, uh, there are plenty of them. Um, you need 33 of them to uh, be linked to the hull and then 8 more for the standing rigging. Now, the ones that I'll be working on now are the ones that I'll be used and uh, that will be used to add to the deck. Um, I'm going to create a little change from the instructions since the instructions say that you have to make them with the thread which is provided. What I have decided to do is to um, use copper wire to create the initial uh, link uh, that will be attached to the two-legged uh, rings on the deck. The way I've done this is I've gone ahead and taken some power cord uh, just like this and uh, cut it open. This uh, enabled me to get a number of copper wires, very thin ones, um, from inside. And once I have this, what I've gone ahead and done is to create sort of a rope. So to do this, what I'm doing is taking two of them and making sure that they are together wrap them around in a U-shape and making sure that the ends match down here at the bottom I put them together and using a toothpick on the one end I press it down and I start turning them to create a loop. Once the loop starts, I slowly go ahead and wrap it around all four strands until I get to the end. So, once I get to the end, I end up with something like this. What I do is just uh, pulling my fingers across it, I straighten it out, and then I use a pair of nail cutters to cut off uh, just a little part of the end, on one end, and then cut it off from the other end. And that way I end up with one strand uh, which is made up of the other four little strands. I then go ahead and measure approximately half of it and cut it in two. This gives me two equal distances that I can use. So once I've done that, I take uh, one of them and taking the block, I look for the little indentation which is around the middle of it and go ahead and wrap the strand around it as tightly as I can. Pushing it down with my fingers and making sure that it's inside the groove as best as possible on both sides. And using my fingers, I push it up 
to try and uh, incorporate it as well as possible inside. I use uh, something flat to flatten out the top part. Once I've done that, I hold it like this and cross the wires over and then wrap them around themselves one or two times and then one of the pieces I just pull it out and keep on wrapping once or twice the other end. Once it's been wrapped around about three or four times I go ahead and use the nail cutters again to trim it down and cut off the excess. The little bit that's over I press it down and now I have a block with the wire. Once that is done, uh, some of them I'm leaving them like this because they will go around the rings that have already been attached around the sides of the ship. There should be 14 of those. But then there are others that I haven't attached yet and I already have the two-legged ring here. So what I do in this case is I just put it through and then bend it around creating sort of a loop and then bend the wire over itself again uh, one or two times and that way I have the structure and all I have to do is again using the nail cutters to trim off the excess. Once I've done that I press it down again and making sure that the orientation is the correct one, in this case the part of the hole to be parallel to the stem. Once I've done that, to make sure that the string will go through, I'm using a 0.8 millimeter uh, drill bit to make sure that the hole is enlarged a little bit, just enough. Uh, some of them were closed just on one end and then through the other end and that way I have it. Final step is the legs are a little bit too long for the uh, fitting piece that they will go into so what I do is using a pair of side cutters I go ahead and cut them down just a little bit and making sure that it doesn't bounce everywhere holding it in my hands and this is the result I'm trying to get rid of the little pieces and this is the end result what I will do later on is to use a little bit of super glue at the joint and uh, the wire that goes around the block to make sure it is well secured. Uh, out of all of these blocks I need uh, 12 of them and that pretty much is what I have done. So these are the 12 that will go into the other pieces which are these little eye bolts and these other ones will go into uh, the side um, rings which are already installed. There are a couple more that have to be made including two that go on the mast that I have already added. One here and the other one here. They're done uh, in the same way. The only thing is that the uh, uh, rings are already attached. So that is the first step and I have a couple more to go. When I'm done, I will go on to the next uh, step, which is to attach physically the mast 
to the ship. Welcome back. I finally added the mast to the hull and glued it in place with some uh, wood glue. And uh, to do this, what I did was to create a template out of balsa wood from the one-to-one -one, uh, plants that come with the kit. And uh, taking the correct angle, um, I've gone ahead and traced it out and cut it out of this piece of balsa wood. And that way I could lean the mast in the correct uh, place, um, exact to the one in the plants. I also made sure that uh, it was vertical. And to do that, I just grabbed uh, two pieces of uh, uh, cardboard and placed them on the sides. And that way I could see if the mast was uh, correct. All these angles I'm trying to do on the basis of the deck so the mast is where it should be. Finally the last angle is to make sure that uh, the side uh, pieces are straight with the deck so uh, when I add the side pieces right here for the side rigging they will be in line. So it's been drying for 24 hours and it should be pretty strong and bonded. All I did was to uh, pour some uh, glue into the hole uh, directly and then just uh, pushed it in. So it should have caught on uh, from the bottom and that should keep it pretty rigid. And uh, when the rigging is on, it should be uh, well fixed. Then I went ahead and uh, looked at the um, portholes uh, that should have uh, windows in them. And what I did was to add a drop of uh, wood glue into the holes and let it dry. This has given the impression that there is a window, uh, slightly opaque, but uh, it, uh, it works well giving the impression. Finally, on the instrument panel, I went ahead and also added uh, three dots on top of the dials. So that way, when you look at it at certain angles, it seems that there's a glass casing that is on top of them. And uh, I did the same thing with the compass. Um, and uh, the effect is pretty okay. So the next stage is to start adding all the accessories, uh, starting off with the side pieces that will hold the, the rigging on the sides, and then the cleats and the various other parts. All this I will add it with super glue since the ship is already varnished, and uh, that way they will hold on uh, okay. So when I start adding them, I'll come back and see how that works. Time to add all the deck accessories. Uh, so here is what I'm doing. Uh, what I've done is to start from either end of the ship, uh, from the front and the back, and going inwards, adding different parts. Uh, the first thing that I added were all the little eye bolts um, uh, which just stuck in as well as the six uh, portholes and with super glue I stuck them in. Then I started adding the cleats and the different accessories uh, from the rear towards the mast. To do this I took a cutout of a photocopy of the deck plan and uh, made the hole for the mast and at each one of the intervals where the different items go, uh, for example on this one, the cleats, I go ahead and fold it so that way I can uh, attach it next to the mast and align it to make sure that it's centered. And then I put a piece of masking tape where the limit of the cleat should go. 
Also, to see where they should be placed, I've gone ahead and measured the distance uh, on the plan right here, which in this case is 5.1 centimeters, and taking off the difference of these 6 uh, millimeters of the blue wood, I divide that by 2, and from this edge to where the outer edge of the cleat should be is 2.2 on each one of the sides. So I measured it uh, using a ruler and I put the uh, marks. That way I know exactly where they should uh, go and in what direction. So what I've also done is these other two cleats, uh, in this case it's much easier to measure from the two-legged uh, ring where the block will go and there's a gap of two millimeters and then that will go forward so I've gone ahead and marked it and I will add that after I've added these other two so to do that I'm using super glue and just adding a little drop on a piece of paper And then, carefully, taking one of the cleats and with a pair of tweezers, I'm holding it and then with a pin, grabbing a bit of super glue and adding it on. It should not need that much super glue since the pieces uh, will not require that much force so they will stay where they go. So once I do that I go ahead and making sure that it's parallel to the center I look for the mark and put it in its place. Holding it down. And that way it should be pretty straight. Then another one for the other side. And repeat the process, adding the super glue. cover the whole surface and then going ahead looking for the mark and putting it in its place the glue pretty much holds on instantly and that way I have them done so I'll keep on doing that for all the rest and uh, as I go forward I bend the piece of paper a little bit more until I get all the way forward with all the pieces. Um, the uh, deck furniture that goes on top except for this one I will put them later and the uh, final pieces will be the rail that goes along here as well as the uh, blocks which have to be attached to the edges out here. That will be the last step of all. Here is the end result. I've added all the accessories to the deck and following the same process I've said, adding uh, the little blocks on the side uh, last and all the pieces are now on the on the ship and um, this takes care of this whole uh, step. Um, the only details on adding all this aside from the process of trying to find where they go is the side railings. Uh, I had to put the front ones first since from in front uh, they cannot go through because 
of this piece right here, so I had to put them in from the rear, and then when these two were on, I could go ahead and add these two also from the rear, uh, since there was no way of uh, putting in through there. And that pretty much takes care of everything. Uh, I made sure that the side uh, blocks are facing with the hole from uh, bow, bow to stern, so that way the rigging will fit correctly, and it is all set. So since I've done that, um, this uh, stage is over with this, and on the next one I will start with the rigging, the side rigging of the mast, and the forward and the rear, and that should take care of that stage as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.